big honor. There's thousands of guys who've played this game professionally. There's only 271 that are in this Hall of Fame, and now Chris is one of them. That's pretty amazing. Yeah, I've listened, watched him play all along and stuff. I mean, we had season tickets for over 30 years. Chris has waited a long, long time to come in, and, and obviously it's a great day for Curtis. It's just an amazing day for our university. <laughs> Fanfare is amazing. I was just with a Marine Corps band. They've got them here. It's just a big giant tailgate party, so it's really nice to see that part of it. Where else would you be on the day when two pit guys are going into the Hall of Fame? We came in yesterday and we've been enjoying the events last night, all day today. There's all kinds of activities and stuff all weekend long. It's just, it's an amazing thing happening in this area. <laughs> When I was in high school, I, I believed that I and, and felt at the time that I could play at the major college level. I was recruited by several colleges and wanted to play at an institute where my parents can come watch me play every Saturday. I chose the University of Pittsburgh. Thank you, y'all like that. <laughs> Hail to Pitt. <laughs> Where I was blessed with great, where I was blessed by, with great coaching by remarkable men: Jackie Sherrill, Folge Faziel, Joe Moore. They challenged me every day. They brought the very best out of me, things that I never even knew that I had inside me. They were also there to let me know that I wasn't the only linebacker that they had on the team. With my time at Pitt. The program prepared me for the next level, the National Football League, with the likes of Mike Dicka, Tony Dorsett, Russ Grimm, Ricky Jackson, Dan Marino, Joe Smith, and Curtis Martin. The University of Pittsburgh set a standard that is second to none. Curtis has said that the scale best represents his personality because of its balance. So how's this for perfect balance? Career touchdowns, 100, nice and even. His 14,101 yards ranks fourth all time. Every year, all 11 seasons, he led his team in rushing. Ladies and gentlemen, Presenting Curtis Martin for enshrinement into the Pro Football Hall of Fame, Bill Parcells. At the end of the day, um, you know, I, I've achieved a lot of things, uh, and, and I've done a lot of wonderful things in life that I'm so grateful for. But I'll tell you, my greatest achievement in my life was helping my mother and nurturing my mother from the bitter, angry, beaten, hurt person that she was, nurturing her to be a healthy, to have a healthy mindset and to forgive my father for everything that he did to her. By the time it was like, that's my greatest accomplishment. By the time he died, she was cooking him food every day and taking it to him. I mean, I mean, and she is so happy right now, and I'm so grateful for it. Um, but, you know, out of all the things that I've achieved, one of the things that I learned is that it's not necessarily what you achieve in life that matters most, but it's who you become in the process of those achievements that really matters. You know, at my, at my eulogy, I don't want my uh, daughter or whoever it may be giving my eulogy to talk about how many yards I gained or touchdowns I scored. I want my daughter to be able to talk about the man that Curtis Martin was, how, you know, when she was growing up, she looked for a man who was like her father, that he was a man of integrity, a man of strong character, and a God-fearing man. That's what I want. And then at the end of the day, she say, oh, yeah, and he was a pretty good football player. Thank you all.